Alright, so welcome to lesson number one here, ladies and gentlemen. And you can see that we have Bender, um, the Bender model in our Maya project scene here. And we're going to be using a pre built model that I've gone and created. Um, it was, I think, about a year ago. And a lot of times, it, it's sometimes, you know, theoretically possible to just say, hey, if you want to go ahead and create something, why not just use a pre-built model or a model that you've already done and then change it into to something completely different. And that's the case here. So what we're going to go ahead and do here is we're going to simply export a lot of this stuff out and then jump into ZBrush and detail our phase out there so that it's going to be much easier for us to, to simply add the detail there. And then we'll just simply bring it back to Maya, do a little bit of retopologization and then we'll start, you know, creating the rest of our pieces that we're going to need for our for our model. So we say to ourselves, well, this obviously doesn't have the amount of detail that we need to go ahead and create a a very good looking portrait. And the easiest way for us to to go ahead and add the, the detail that I want specifically is we're just simply going to use some alphas and ZBrush. And so what I want to go ahead and do here is just simply export some pieces out and take these into ZBrush. So let's start off with um, we ne don't necessarily need the entire body sculpt over to ZBrush. Um, we just need a, a few certain parts. Um, I'm not necessarily going to be deleting any of these pieces actually off the model simply because it's too early in the process for us to to really decide exactly what we're really going to need. So let's go ahead and let's export some of our pieces out of what we know we're going to need. We're definitely going to need the head shape here. Okay, so let's go ahead and just export our head shape and let's just go ahead and put it in on our um, uh, data folder here. We're just going to use our simple data folder and we need to export this as an OBJ. Okay, so we'll just call this Bender head. Um, and I'm going to use that same sort of naming convention for all the pieces that I export out simply because this way I know exactly what's what. So let's go ahead and let's export the eye shape here and we're going to call this bender um, eye holder. Okay. Um, I don't necessarily think we need to to take the teeth into ZBrush and let's just go ahead and export the body here and we'll call this bender body um, other than that I think we're we're probably okay to to go ahead and take that into ZBrush and we'll go ahead and create our Z tool um, I know this le this first lesson is going to be a little bit short but that's okay um, we don't necessarily need it to be a, an, an hour to go ahead and export these sort of miscellaneous pieces that we're just going to simply detail out in, in ZBrush and so we have these pieces all exported out um, for what I think we need uh, I may have to change it a little bit later in a later lesson um, but for right now we're okay so in the next lesson we'll go ahead and make our Z tool and begin the process of actually detailing and putting some of that detail into the model so Come on back.